some Chinese takeaway shops have those delicious pork char siu in the window. They are divine and it works really well with pork but it also works quite nicely with fish, particularly kingfish because it's a very meaty fish and firm fish. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing for you. In a jug, I'll finally grate two cloves of garlic, place that directly into our jug so everything's nice and neat. Char siu is so popular because it's sweet, it's sticky and it's really caramelised because it's done on a barbecue. So in order for me to emulate this, what I'm going to do with the fish is put it under the grill so it blisters and it gets that beautiful char grilled flavour. I'm also mincing here a little bit of ginger. This is not traditional in char siu but I really love the freshness of it and it goes quite nicely with the fish. And some Chinese five spice that has some Szechuan through it, it has some stuff star anise, cinnamon, white peppercorns and some cloves. And I'm adding a generous pinch because I really want to taste that throughout the fish. Now for the sauces. Good old ketchup works a treat. This is going to give it the sweetness. Two tablespoons of ketchup or tomato sauce. For some extra sweetness, some hoisin sauce which is a plum sauce. And a generous amount of this, about three tablespoons. And some light soy sauce. I like the light soy sauce because it's not too salty and I'll need two tablespoons of that, mix everything together and then I need a little bit of acidity through this so black vinegar is a great condiment to use for this, two tablespoons and a little bit of chilli paste, this is a fermented Korean chilli style paste which is really nice with the fish, a small spoonful of that. Now I'm going to use a whisk just to bring all those flavours together, you'll see it's a thick rich sauce and that's what we want because we want it to stick to the fish and the best way to marinate this is grab a snap lock bag I've got a large one here we'll place the fish in so skin on for the king fish so it holds together and that's going to go crispy you could also do this with salmon works really nicely even tuna steaks is a great idea or swordfish as long as it's a fish that's quite meaty it'll work for this recipe Okay, now for our sauce, we'll just pour that into the snap lock bag and then we'll seal that up, getting all that air out and now we'll mix it together so all of that fish is coated in that yummy char siu sauce. Perfect. Now because it's fish it doesn't need to marinate for too long. I'm going to place it in the fridge for about an hour then we'll place it on our tray and I'll show you the next step. Okay the fish has been marinating for an hour so let's start cooking this. We'll take it out of the Ziploc bag and have a look at this. See how it's completely stained the fish and that marinade's really, really thick so it's sticking perfectly to the flesh. We want skin side up and what I've done is just oiled a rack that I've inserted into a tray. This is going to ensure that our fish doesn't stick at all and give the fish a little bit of space between each fillet. And then the last one, great. Now we don't want to cook this fish with a lot of the sauce on the skin because it will burn quite quickly. So just with a palette knife, just scrape off the excess sauce on each piece of fish. So what we ideally want is just that sauce to stick to the flesh so when it cooks it's flavouring the flesh and we're getting crispy blistered skin on the top. Just like fish crackling as I like to call it. So I'll take that off. Now I've preheated the grill in the oven because this is not going to cook in a fan forced oven, it's actually going to cook under the grill so we get it really charred and that smoky flavour is going to come through. So in it goes, please keep an eye on it because of the sugar in the hoisin sauce and the ketchup, it can catch. So this is going to take roughly five to eight minutes. How good does this kingfish look? You can see the skin's blistered up almost like pork crackling but it's fish. It's sticky and the sauce is really thick on that 
We'll pop that on some rice and some bok choy. That's the perfect way to serve it. Yes, pork char siu is fantastic, but you know what? Be creative, change it up a bit, use the same sauce and do it with fish. It works wonders.